my HQTs, how's it going out there? I see ya, looking good, looking good. I hope you had a relaxing Saturday, saving all your strength and brain power for this party with a purpose. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your inquisitive quizzer and party loving presenter at your phone's epicenter. What's your purpose tonight? Are you here for the cash, the points, the learning, or just the little old me? Oh, how sweet. Hey, be nice in the chat. I see you. So this, of course, is HQ Trivia, where your brain matter can make your pockets a whole lot fatter. Tonight is Smarter Day for those brainiacs out there who think HQ is way too easy. How will you handle this exhilarated version? And when I say exhilarated, I mean harder. Plain and simple. You guys asked for it, so don't go screaming savage after all of that. Season three of HQ is in full swing. Here's how it works. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You've got 10 seconds to tap that answer. Get it correct, you move on. Answer all 12 right, you win or split the cash. Today we're giving away a nice chunk of change, $5,000. You can hit the bar, hit the spa and buy a new car with that kind of cash, kind of. Right. You're also going to be scoring points for every answer you get correct in the game, helping you level up. But can you make it to level 10 this season? What level are you at right now? Let me know in the chat. Extra lives, of course, are super cool. You can buy one right now if you see it on your screen. When you use an extra life, you can still play when you get a question wrong. If you play HQ five days in a row, you will score a life for free. Use it on any round aside from the final one because it's not going to work. All right, now some of you will be in the dark on some of the questions tonight, but a bunch of you are in the dark right now. Why? Well, because it's Earth Hour. People around the globe have turned off their lights at 8.30 p.m. to draw attention to climate change. Here's the Eiffel Tower, right there all lit up. Here it is again. Could be fun to play HQ with your buddies in the blackout. Why not give it a go? And last night, the lights were bright, though, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and there were some awesome inductees this year. The zombies from the 60s received the honor. Well, they did invent the phrase, who's your daddy, after all. Harry Styles dropped to his knees for Stevie Nicks. And a big night for Janet Jackson. Guess who got to meet her at the after parties? You saw right there. And yes, I totally fangirled out. I'm not afraid to admit it. The Cure, Radiohead, and some others were also inducted. It was a fabulous, fabulous night. Now, you all want to level up in the game as high as you can and this entire season, so we're here to help. You can buy points multipliers if you see it on your screen right now. The more points you earn, the higher the level. The higher the level, the better chance you have of winning the season three grand prize. It's gonna be a whopping amount of cash. Let's take a look at this act real quick. What's up, everyone? We're interrupting your HQ game to let you know that our new movie, Shazam, is in theaters on April 5th. And that's all. We'll let you get back to the HQ now. Hope you win. Do not forget, tomorrow is the big game. Yeah, the big Sunday game. And the big game equals big cash. We've got 10 Gs up for grabs, so make sure you're there to try to get a chunk of that cash. And then, on Monday, we've got a double feature for you. 3 p.m., we've got World Trivia Day. All the most interesting facts, people and places from around the globe. How worldly are you? Don't miss out, we will find out, right? And then Monday night, between the past and future, sanity and madness between dreams and reality lies the mystery of the 12 questions. It's the Twilight Zone trivia presented by CBS All Access. Get ready for some head spinning surprises in that game happening at 9 p.m. Eastern on Monday. All right, we've just got a few seconds left on the clock before Q1, so flex those heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and maybe your thumbs as well. That could be a good idea. And let's count it down. We've got 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Okay, you global citizens, it's time to take over the world 
Let's get to the quizzing. Here we go with Q1. What type of circuit is pictured right here? What is that? What kind of circuit is that right there? Is that vaudeville, Formula One, or electrical? Goes round and round again. How well do you know your circuits? If you went for Formula One, you're a little off track here. Putting that spark back into your life, it's an electrical circuit of of course, 244,000 of you are getting lit right here at Q1. An electric circuit is made from a bunch of wires that electrons move through, bringing to life your light bulbs, laptops, and most importantly, HQ. Q2. Which city does not host a Nobel Prize ceremony? Stockholm, Oslo, Helsinki. You're not gonna find a prize in this place. If you're getting a Nobel Prize, you will travel wherever you need to to claim it. One stop you can skip though, Helsinki. You're not gonna find it there. Hell yeah, 140,000 of you got that right. That was, oh, that was a toughie, wasn't it? There was a brutal one right there. We lost 120,000 of you already on Q2. Now most Nobel Prizes are given out in Stockholm, but depending on how peaceful you are, you'll head to Oslo for the Peace Prize. Yes, yeah, smart today, only the smartest will prevail. Q3, which of these Beatles songs is written in the first person? Polythene Pam, Michelle, Lady Madonna. One of the best groups to ever do it. Love the Beatles. They love singing about the ladies, don't they? But which woman did they sing to directly? These are the words that go together well. Yeah, Michelle. Michelle is the name we were looking for here. I should have been the fifth member of the Beatles, shouldn't I, with my lovely voice. 149,000 if you know the name of the game. When Paul McCartney performed at the White House in 2010, we finally found out who the mysterious Michelle was. Michelle Obama, at least for that night. Q4, which school's mascot is a form of plant life? Iowa State, Utah State, Ohio State plant as a poster animal. Some interesting mascots out there. Sports teams get very imaginative with their mascots. We had Gritty yesterday and this time it's Brutus Buckeye of Ohio State. Yes, indeed. I'm cheering you on right now. 146,000 of you nailed it. Well done. Iowa State is cheered on by a cardinal. Utah State is full of bull. A bull, but Brutus says pretty nutty. He is a chestnut in a stripy shirt. That was a toughie as well, wasn't it, here at Q4? Moving on to Q5. Which 90s TV show title contains a cardinal number? Seventh Heaven, Beverly Hills 90210, Party of Five. Remember these classic shows? We all grew up on these, didn't we? Who else I'm busted? You don't have to be a mathematician to figure this one out. You just need to know what a cardinal number is. Quantity over quality. This time it's party of five. Let's get the party started. You remember that show, don't you? Oh my, this was a savage. Savage here on Smart Today here at Q5. 150,000 of you gone, 87,000 of you still in the party. Now the seventh in heaven indicates ranking. 90210 is not an amount, it's just a zip code, but the five is the quantity at the party. We'll continue the party right now with Q6. According to old naval terminology, what was a ship of the line best suited for? Shipping, battle, ceremony. Get in line. And tap in time. Ship of the line, what is that? Well, if you went for shipping, you need to ship your butt out of here. A ship of the line is built perfectly for battle. Battling out here. That's Q605,000 of you nailed it. Another brutal question. It was a type of naval warship from the 17th to 19th centuries, bringing its firepower to the line of battle with up to 140 guns. We're pulling out the big guns right now for Q7. Which of these men became US president the soonest after becoming US vice president? Lyndon B. Johnson, Richard Nixon, Harry S. Truman. How well do you know your past presidents? 
three former commanders in chief, but who had the quickest turnaround time after being VP? The truth of the matter is Harry S. Truman. True story. We're talking facts right here. It's Truman. It's not Nixon. And it's not Johnson. And that was another savage. Here at the halfway mark. 110,000 down. 41,000 moving on. Yeah, I hope you leveled up and you can get back in the game. Harry Truman was FDR's Veep in his fourth term, but Roosevelt died just 11 weeks in, leaving the top spot to Truman. True story. Q8. Which part of the human eye is located the deepest inside? Lens, iris, cornea. It's a super fun game, isn't it? It's hard. Pretty tough. Those who went for cornea obviously didn't see this one coming. Going deep into your head is the lens. Lens is what we were looking at. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at that, it's triple the savage here on Q8. We've got 43,000 of you down. 9,071 of you saw clearly on a camera or telescope. The lens is right out front where you can see it, but we're humans, guys, and ours is shoved to the back behind the iris and the cornea. That was a rough one. Q9, which of these novels is not by an American woman who won the Nobel Prize in Literature, Beloved, The Color Purple, The Good Earth. Three fantastic novels. And three award-winning authors. But which book is by a Pulitzer Prize winner rather than a Nobel? Nothing but death can keep you from it. The Color Purple. Yeah, 4,888 of you nailed it. Oh, we're going to go with Quadruple the Savage. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Can't lie here. It's a rough one. It was. 10,000 gone. 4,888 of you still in the game. Alice Walker wrote the 1982 novel. And who needs a Nobel Prize when you get a movie and a musical, Broadway one at that, out of the deal instead? We're almost there. Three more to go. Q10. Whose law is demonstrated here? What in the puffiness is going on here? This is very weird and bizarre. It's very strange. Is that Boyle's Law, Graham's Law, Avogadro's Law? I'm laying down the law on this one because that was pretty bizarre. Three laws that will leave you languishing, but which one caused that shaving cream? That's what it was to level up. It's Boyle's Law, and that's what it boils down to right here. 4,470 of you nailed that. Well done to you. No boiling needs in Boyle's Law. It's more about a mass of ideal gas and how it's inversely proportional to its volume. Well, something like that. Q11, the penultimate round. What is the only official EU language that is both Semitic and written with Latin letters? Albanian, Finnish, Maltese. You speak my language right now. The European Union has 24 official languages, but only one of them is Semitic. We are heading to Malta. Yeah, it was Maltese, you little tease. 2,761 of you got that correct. Unlike most Semitic languages, Maltese uses the same letters that English does and likes to hook up with poodles. So grab your multi poos because we are walking and we are talking into the final round with 2,761 of your smarty pants still in the game. Another 480 of you using extra lives to get back in. We've got $5,000 in the bag tonight. Who is the smartest of them all? Let's find out. It's Q12. Which television show was the first to receive captioning? Sesame Street, The French Chef, This Old House. Three classics from way, way back. Changed a lot of people's lives. Feels like it's been with us for a lifetime, but closed captioning first hit our screens in 72. Whether you really need it or just want to watch baseball at work without the boss finding out, it's the best. Who cooked up the captions first? Are we, we, the French chef for the win? We've got 1,485 winners. You smash that. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oui, oui, c'est bon, c'est bon. 1,485 winners tonight. You are the smartest of them all. You should be very proud of yourselves. You're taking them $3.37. A little age cutie right there. AP. 618, we've got K Bloy, there are a couple of cuties as well, lots of cuties, look at all these lovely faces, we've got Shopisil, you could go shopping with that $3.37, why not, David Link, you were the missing link here, uh, JM's Angel, yeah, unstoppable, you Day. Yeah, well done, H Cuties. That was pretty epic, wasn't it? You came, you played, you slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me on the socials. Stop by, say hi, don't be shy. Words, of course, is up next with my girl Anna. It's happening at 9:30, just a few minutes away. As Smarter Day continues, and do not forget the big game tomorrow on HQ Trivia. We've got 10 G's up for grabs. Until then, have an awesome rest of your night. I will see you soon. Bye.